Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. What do we have here? It's a tank and it's rolling, except it's not because it's floating above the ground. This tank is using anti-gravity. This mod is Kerbal Foundries. It comes with a number of different things, mostly tracks and, most importantly in my view, anti-gravity devices. Now you can see here it's got a height and a group number, so you can basically group them up so that you have, you know, group 1 at 4 metres above the ground and group 2 at 8 metres or something like that. I think it goes up to 8, yeah it does. 8 is the top. It drains a lot of power, be aware that the higher you have it, the more power it will need. So let's just give this thing a bit of a go. Now I'm going to be using Mechjub to hold heading because, um, without friction of the ground contact, let's just say it can get a little bit fast. You can see that we're going 92, 93 meters per second over fairly bumpy ground. And yes, those are mountains ahead, and I have managed to go up those mountains using an anti-gravity device. This anti-gravity device, in fact, just run over the top of the mountain. It didn't survive the impact on the other side. But these anti-gravity devices are amazing. You can use them for this sort of thing. You can have a floating tank. Now, the only issue is how do you stop the darn thing? And, well, you kind of have to be inventive. Now, there are a couple of ways that I've thought of doing it. One is a, uh, a Kerbal anchor from Kerbal uh, Attachment System. The anchor would basically allow you to just stop your craft. Have a weekend. Whoa, we're not meant to be going that way around. Uh, okay. Well, um, we are now in flight. Mm, Mechjeb, I wanted you to really rotate. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's try that again, see if Mechjeb does the same thing. Nope, better, better. Okay. Let's slow ourselves down. And then if we drop height... There we go, we are now stationary. So you have to be a little bit inventive how you stop these anti-gravity crafts. So what I've done is basically said, go really low and then put down the landing gears, which of course have a stickiness attached to the uh, the tips of them, so that effectively they can hold you in place. The engine should hopefully turn off at some point. So that's one of the things that comes with Kerbal Foundries, but of course you can be incredibly inventive with this. So this is a hover bike. Now this uh, propeller thing on the back, that's from another mod, that's from Kerbal Aircraft Expansion. So if we launch this puppy, that propeller is basically a electrical engine that allows us to use electricity as fuel, so I don't actually have to carry around any fuel fuel. What I am doing, however, is using a lot of electricity, because we're using electricity for both the anti-gravity pads, which use a lot of them, and the engine. So just bear in mind that there will be a lot of electricity used by this thing. It's so much so, in fact, that uh, we're going to have electricity problems. So if I just lower the height down to 1.5 meters... One meter, maybe? Let's look at our electricity usage. You can see we are... Uh, are we losing? Yeah, we are... No, we're gaining energy just. So we can actually be at this height and gain energy while the sun is high enough overhead for our solar panel to gain enough electricity. Otherwise, we have to kind of stop, put the gears down and just wait for us to recharge. So, let's give this thing a go. Okay, gotta make sure I don't tip over here. Hell yeah! Okay, make sure we hit the edge, make sure we hit the edge. Yeehaw! It's not a very big jump, is it? No. Pipes! Ooh, I'm glad we landed on top of those. But yeah, this is the amazingness of having anti-gravity. It's just amazing, it's so much fun. That said, it doesn't work on water, which is a bit of a shame. It works on terrain height, so buildings and stuff, they count as part of the terrain. Water doesn't. Water is a filler. It goes, you know, over the top of where the terrain actually is. Which is a shame. And yeah, there we go. It's not solid. Sadly, it doesn't work on water. I would like it if it did. But unfortunately, that's not our option. It would certainly make boats a lot quicker. Although they wouldn't technically be boats. They'd be more like hovercraft. Literal hovercraft. Hmm. What else comes with this mod? So, as I said, Kerbal Foundries also comes with a number of different tracks. We have this inverted track that works upside down. We have this uh, slightly smaller track. I was about to say mini track. It's really not a mini track. And this wheel. Hello, wheel. Can I grab you? Thank you. And this ridiculously sized wheel that looks like we took it off a giant dragster. However, what you're probably noticing is this. 
this reminds me of the tracks that they use to actually move space shuttles and stuff into position at NASA. It's ridiculous and awesome. So, well, let's pick one random one that I made earlier that uses tracks. So this tank is the only the base of the tank. It doesn't include much else. It doesn't include a turret or anything. But for purposes of, you know, seeing how the drive system works, it should do nicely. So as you can see here, Jeb is going to be piloting today. Unfortunately, his view is slightly upside down, but, you know, I'm sure he'll manage. And look at that. Beautiful 13.3 meters per second. Turns quite nicely. Goes down slopes. Goes up. These tracks are beautiful in how they handle. Really nice. Of course, after using something like the anti-gravity system, you're kind of left going, I wish it could be faster. But you do have to remember that these are tank tracks you're using, and tank tracks aren't that fast. Yes, they can get to maybe 60 miles an hour, but in general, tank tracks don't tend to be very fast. And it is beautiful in how it handles. It just takes that rise, goes down, and you can fiddle with all the sort of things in the parameters if I just select the thing. You can see here we've got a torque ratio, and you can also change the number, so you can have different uh, sets of tracks working on different torque ratios. I'm going to run up your wing. There we go! So it does that fine after we not get ourselves caught on the edge. Now, turning around on the spot because I have two sets of tracks does work. It can be a little bit fiddly if you have uh, tracks close together because, you know, one tries to turn one way, one tries to turn the other. But in general, it does work. It's a little bit slow. Come on, Nelly. There we go. And... run over things and then get stuck on the tail of planes god damn it plane but yeah this has been Kerbal Foundries I will put a link to it down below oh no my tank what did you do to my tank